So, uh, you know, we all know the story of the original film and you know, Sally and Franklin and Kirk and Pam and how they got to the actual house and the things that led them there. So when we talked to Kim Hinkle, obviously he owns the rights to Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, we were trying to figure out and craft a way to not just retell that same story again, right? Because we know how it ends. We know Sally gets away. So if she was to die in the match, eh, how do you do Franklin? There's, there's a lot of uh, things that we didn't want to even know how to tackle at all in that. We didn't really want to go down that path again. Um, so we had two choices. It can take place like after the film or it can take place before. So obviously the hitchhiker gets ran over um, at the end of the film. So, you know, he's a corpse. So it had to be before. So what you see here is a, a young lady named Maria Flores. She's a college student at, at the University of Texas. And um, she is really the catalyst of uh, the main character that sets all the events in motion. Um, she's a, a young college student. She loves to go out and see the Texas wildflowers during wildflower season. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that. It's incredible. The blue bonnets and the Indian paintbrush. It's a, people come from all over the world to see that. So if you live there, you definitely go out and see. Well, unfortunately, on one of her trips, she runs into one of the family members. Um, well, we haven't named yet, yet. Um, a, a new one, and it's their encounter that kind of um, leads Maria's sister and her friends to come searching for poor Maria. So she is our missing person of of the game. She's really the character that starts it all, and unfortunately, she's not alive anymore, and she's not a playable character, but her friends are and her sister. So um, that's kind of our story. It takes place about five or six months before the game. We haven't really said the exact date yet. Um, that way, the original family is still intact. The hitchhiker's alive. And you get to see those original environments from the film, like Matt said, the, the house and, and the gas station. And we got a couple, uh, another one there as well. But um, really, this is Maria Flores. And um, yeah, that's her story so far. So, so with Maria being now revealed, um, a lot of folks, they, they dug into these screenshots and dug into these pieces of information we've been sharing. And right away, started thinking, maybe she's a playable character. Maybe she's this. Maybe she's that. She's not playable, but what, one of the things that I think is actually really interesting that maybe Ronnie can speak a little more to is that the fact that as much as Maria is not a playable character in the game, she is the most important character in the game. Yeah. Without the Maria character, our cast of, of victims never make their way to that area of Texas. They never encounter our killers. How many movies, Kane, have you seen that, you know, it starts because somebody ran out of gas, right? Or the, the car broke down. We didn't want to just do the car broke down on the side of the road and they happened to stumble upon Leatherface's house, right? We feel that's been done enough, and we wanted to have a reason for the family to be meeting these characters other than, hey, let's go knock on that door. Um, so we got to create this rich cast of characters with like the blessing of Kim Hinkle, which is something I'll talk about in a minute, but I think that was something that we wanted to just put our stamp on and go, we can create new characters, and we can craft a story around the film, and this is what we've done. So, And I, I have to say that uh, when Ronnie and... and Wes first approached me about doing the motion capture for this character. Um, I was a little surprised because I'm not known for playing the character. And I'm not really the demographic of the character, which doesn't matter because it's motion capture. But um, what occurred to me was that this is basically the original everything original about Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the first film. So once I started realizing, you know, um, I played the character of Leatherface doubling R.A. in the third film. So I was kind of used to mimicking his performance because that's what you do as a stunt double. You try to look like your person. And... Then, you know, we were talking about it, and we want Leatherface to be reminiscent of Gunnar Hansen. And he's the original, classic Leatherface character. So once I started thinking, well, you know, I, I want to try to make it look reminiscent of Gunnar. Because Gunnar was a good friend of mine. I still have pictures of him on my phone. My very first appearance I ever did to sign autographs was with Gunner at Spooky World in Massachusetts back in like 88. And uh, that was my first experience. And he and I just became good friends. I really miss him still. So if I can do any kind of tribute to his performance within the game, you know, based on 
what he did in the film, then I, I feel honored to do so. Yep. Yeah, um, I've spoken to you about this before, so it's not like a secret, but people often ask me, why Kane? Right. Why did you pick Kane for Leatherface? And why didn't you go with someone? So maybe another actor actually played the full character in the film or someone new. And I always say, well, first of all, his work ethic. You guys know how hard he works. Um, he no matter what he does, he puts 100 percent into it every time. But two, I knew you would be like you would respect the character. And I knew you were like I knew you were friends with Gunner and I knew the amount of work that you would put into it. Um, so it's awesome that he actually knew Gunner. They were friends. And to see him carry that over into the motion capture studio is pretty awesome. You can just imagine those of you that know the the original film very well. Just picture, you know, even though it's not film, it's capturing the movement. Just picture the idea of trying to recreate Gunnar Hansen's chainsaw dance. Yeah. The classic at, oh, cool. I just felt so honored and I, I, you know, it's not easy to do. I'll tell you that. Um, and I just feel like I'm doing the ultimate respect to Gunner doing the chainsaw dance as much as I can, like he did. So it's a chainsaw. So this, <clears throat> this is, so as you may or may not know, we're all about authenticity at our company at gun interactive. Um, everything from the actual props from the films to the, pebbles that you see on the ground to the trees to the grass to the wood every single thing and i think i spent eight weeks total in texas over the pandemic we traveled around matt went i was and, injured yeah i mean injured. it was really like rented my foot for this video game I'm not, I'm not lying took thousands of photos and just we went to all the filming locations went just to a lot of this abandoned houses and slaughterhouses and things like that the places you would normally go in texas and that was a really great awesome experience to be able to just live in that area for that long of a time but um, this is the, the reason I bring that up is because if we're going to put the actual trees and grass and the actual flowers in the game, we're definitely going to put the right chainsaw in, in the game. So this is the saw that we scan for the game. It's a 3D model. We used it. It's a direct replica of the film. Um, and we spent a lot of time getting that right. And it's also what we captured audio. So that audio you saw in the trailer, that's um, the actual chainsaw. So we, we couldn't have Kane playing Leatherface swinging around uh, something that just wasn't authentic. The um the the interesting thing about the saw number one this is a an actual seventies era saw um it ran when we got it and like Ronnie said it this saw was scanned down for measurements that you can't see with your eye to the granular level to be put into the game so the the saw that is in the video game that you'll be able to run around uh, after Kane has done the mocap for this leather face you can run around as mocap Kane Hodder carrying this exact saw. So I, I don't mean to beat that point over the head, but I think that's kind of cool. Uh, it was also, we took this out during the height of COVID to a horse farm in Kentucky where Gun is located, set up probably about 100 microphones throughout this field, and we had somebody carry this saw through the field running, carry it through the field not running, yeah. pull the cord, do the every single noise that this thing makes when I pat it up with my hand and it rattles is in the game. Um. I won't go on forever about this, but Kim Hinko, obviously the, the owner of Texas Chainsaw, um, gave us and me and everyone on the team um, some leeway and he afforded us the right to create these brand new characters from scratch for his franchise. And Upon his approval, I upon guess. Upon his all. approval. So we worked together closely with him and um, he had some ideas for characters that never made it into the original film, but they're pretty interesting. He has this, this oh, heck, handbook hi. of all oh, these characters. You. Yeah, it's awesome. So, um, and he also gave us um, the opportunity to create brand new ones from scratch. And I think, I mean, some of these characters took over a year each. Um, that's how kind of seriously we took them to make sure that they, that they stood out while also blending in, right? We, we didn't want them to stand out in a negative way. They had to look like they belonged to the family, but at the same time, they can't look like the cook or the hitchhiker. So yeah, I mean, I've been personally, everyone at Gun has different roles. Um, as a creative director, it's part of my job is to like figure out what we're going to work on next and get that approved. And so I've been working on the game for about three years now. So a long, long time. Um, the things that we learned about Friday, we are absolutely applying to Texas. Most likely um, how to balance a game with an overpowered killer, right? So now that we have three killers, that's what we're trying to learn is take our lessons from Friday and figure out how to work three killers versus four victims and make sure that they live long enough to have fun. And that's really one of the things that I think some people are a little concerned about is how, how are you going to have fun if there's three killers chasing you? You have to remember 
Texas, they're human beings. They're not supernatural. Leatherface can't morph and disappear and reappear in certain places, and neither can the cook. <laughs> Definitely not the cook, right? So to see him chasing you around is kind of funny, to be honest. It's pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, they um, all have their own unique uh, abilities, but at the end of the day, it's how to balance that game with, with multiple killers. And we learned a big lesson on Friday. Um, that's probably the, the, the most uh, challenging aspect because it's never been really been done before um, in multiplayer asymmetrical gameplay is that three versus four aspect. So that's really our, our big focus. I mean, if you're one of, if you're playing as one of the four yeah, victims or no, yes, as yes. And I, mean, I don't even know if uh, this is something I can ask you, but if one of your companions gets taken out, Dies, yeah. is that, help you at all as a remaining victim or it'll help you if you were near them and they killed them instead of you (laughs) right but is there any benefit to being the only one left um it's the old idea that i don't have to be fast i just have to be faster than you there is a lot of teamwork related things to do in this game yes we haven't revealed yet but working together is definitely a thing to do but you'll be surprised what happens when leatherface shows up with this chainsaw can you everybody has a plan to work together and coordinate there is a leatherface revs up the saw and then all those planes yeah. go out the window. Some like people they, actually you know, do you stick together. But, but yeah, they still do stick together sometimes. Depends on the character and the human being playing it. Yeah, something at gun, when we talk about authenticity, and I'll keep this brief, um, but something at gun that I think is very important to mention that a lot of people don't quite realize is that it's not just about things like we talked about the saw or we talked about you know, other areas of the game where we can take a picture, scan it into a game, whatever the case is. Um, authenticity also means being able to create likenesses mannerisms you know um everything yeah and, and when when you yeah. when you're able to see the mocap take place you can see ronnie's direction in the, during the mocap process of of making sure that the littlest twitch of a shoulder is included into the performance and the little things are there so that really you know aside from just the likeness as in how they look their mannerisms their characteristics their speech, their mannerisms, their speech the yeah. way they move everything about it so, all of it yeah I know for Friday the 13th, y'all had a pre-order skin, Savini Jason. Did y'all plan on or thinking about doing anything like that for Leatherface? Uh, I was going to take this one. You know, the Savini skin, the situation with that was we had a uh, Kickstarter for Friday the 13th, and we had backers and all of that. And usually through that process, you end up creating some very unique things that remain exclusive to the people who got them. And, And if you're familiar with Friday the 13th, you know that there was no way you were going to get Savini after the fact. Um, we don't want to do something similar to that with Texas. We want our community to be able to enjoy all of the different characters and all the different artwork and all the different versions of Leatherface that are out there. That being said, exclusive, exclusivity-wise, there will not be another Savini Jason style character in this game. But that doesn't mean that we don't have some really cool shit to show you guys. Less exclusive, but still awesome shit. 